What will I gain from this video? After watching this video, you will know how to localize the aortic and mitral valves on a chest x-ray. The mitral valve lies between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The aortic valve lies between the left ventricle and the aorta. On the PA and lateral x-rays, however, we cannot identify the valves directly. We can, however, establish the approximate position of the mitral and aortic valves using the following methods. How do we identify the location of the aortic and mitral valves on a PA examination? First, we make sure that the patient is properly centered and is not rotated. Next, we identify the oracle of the left atrium, remembering that the left heart border is formed by the left ventricle inferiorly, followed by the oracle, and then the pulmonary outflow tract. Next, we draw a line from the oracle to the medial aspect of the right hemidiaphragm. The aortic valve will lie superior and to the right of this line, and the mitral valve will lie inferior and to the left of this valve. So how do we identify the aortic and mitral valves on the lateral x-ray? The first step is to use our previously learned skills and we identify the carina. Next, we draw a line from the carina to the anterior cardiophrenic angle. The aortic valve will lie superior to this line and the mitral valve will lie inferior to this line. So now let's put this into practice. In this case, the patient's had a previous valvular replacement. We can identify the mechanical valve. However, we're uncertain which valve was replaced. By drawing a line from the auricle to the medial aspect of the right hemidiaphragm and from the carina to the anterior cardiophrenic angle, we can identify the valve as lying superior and to the right on the PA and superior to the valve on the lateral, and we can confidently identify that this is the aortic valve. In this case, we see a mechanical valve. Again, applying the two same lines, we can identify that this valve lies inferior and to the left of the line on the PA and inferior to the line on the lateral, and we can confidently state that this is the mitral valve. In this case, we can identify two valves on the lateral examination and clearly identify one of the valves on the PA film. This case is more complex because of the marked enlargement of the heart and the marked enlargement of the thoracic aorta, but we can extrapolate the approximate position of the oracle of the left atrium. If we draw these two lines, on the lateral, we can identify that one of the valves lies superior and one inferior to the line. The one superior is the aortic and one inferior is the mitral valve. On the PA film, the one inferior to the line is the mitral valve. So in summary, on the PA examination, the aortic valve lies above and the mitral valve below a line that extends from the auricle of the left atrium to the point where the right atrium intersects with the diaphragm. On the lateral, the aortic valve lies above and the mitral valve below a line that extends from the carina to the anterior costophrenic angle.